Starting robotics as a career is a hard decision because robotics is a multidisciplinary field. But in this video, I will be going through essential points that I think I should have known before starting robotics. The first one is understanding robotics company. In a robotics company, we have different teams, hardware and software. Inside of team, the hierarchy goes as manager, senior developer and then junior developers. So this is a hierarchy you have to keep in mind as you are going inside of this company. Let's say you are just starting out and you are going to go as a junior developer. Now, junior developer has to decide hardware or software. So this is the first decision that you have to make. Am I going to be a hardware designer, mechanical? or hardware electronic side or software side. Now software have multiple branches, localization, perception, machine learning, control theory. All of these are different branches that you have to keep in mind. After deciding a role, you have to look into teams. Everyone is working in a team. Unlike startups, which are very unorganized in some cases, companies that we are focusing on have teams that are working to produce an output for a very specific feature of the robot. As software developer about localization are just going to be working years to produce an approximation of a good pose of the robot in the 3D location. So a team has a specific feature they are working for the robot. You have to think it in a way you are going to be getting into that team, how you are going to coordinate with your team members and you are going to write code that other teams can understand. This comes with experience, but for now, as a starter, you are just going to focus on, I have written a piece of code. If I give this code to someone else, are they going to be able to understand it easily or do I have to go to every person and explain it? Which brings in programming practices, version control and software architecture understanding. Next one is personal understanding. This is about your depth of knowledge about robotics. How much understanding do you have about a certain concept? It can be either programming or implementing control system theory, implementing a Kalman filter or utilizing already built code. So this all depends upon the experience that you have, but it represents what is your level of understanding. When you are giving an interview, there can be two extremes. First one is, okay, I can't produce proper state estimation of a robot. I don't understand it. But that's not how you proceed your interviews. The other extreme is, yes, localization, not a problem. Pose estimation, not a problem, which is not a professional way. You have to go in depth of the problem and then produce something. And you have to keep the behavior and attitude in a way that, okay, I understand that my encoders and IMU are fused to produce an estate estimate in a 2D space. Now, the next level of understanding is whether utilizing a Kalman filter or unsunted Kalman filter. What is a linear and a non-linear situation? This is, let's say in starting, you don't understand but you can tell that this is what I understand, this is what I don't understand because most of the interviews involve problems. They give you problems and then you have to solve it. Mostly in my cases, I was asked about if you have to complete this project, what you will do. So I have to give a proper project breakdown and they understand my depth of understanding of robotics in most of the cases like that. Next part is learning. When you're starting out, most of the people give you a recommendation of getting into startups. Now, startups are not going to put you exactly on one single road the beer startups. You have to work on the localization part and the perception as well. So that's how in my experience the startups work and my startup as well is working in that manner. But after a certain level, when they are formed a proper companies, they give you one specific task and you have to work and improve it. So in startups, you learn more as compared to the companies in terms of branches of the field. When you're focused on developing thing and owning it as a responsibility, you are learning a lot. And in startups with the experience, you learn exponentially with the team that you are because you have to bring in innovative ideas to solve very simple problems. So I would recommend you to get into startups if you are just starting out to have a different experience, building responsibility about the product and feeling that I am contributing to a project that is going to be an amazing thing when the startup gets successful. 
So these are the tips to build a essential mindset for a person who is getting into robotics from software side because I have experience in that only. Now one important thing as well which is about money. When you are just starting don't think about money. Don't calculate money from the very start. You are going into a career you have to start learning from the scratch and whatever opportunity you get you start but be responsible as well. The startup that is giving you an opportunity, you have to own the product and build it like this is the only thing for you in the start. Don't think in terms of one or two or three years. Think long term. You work on a certain thing for a longer period of time. You explore a lot of things and you build expertise upon that. Don't go for the money on the product. This is what I have experienced gave me benefit and you have to think about the team because you are not just learning programming you're building relations you're building team in that team you can start your own startup but your goal should not be getting into a startup and doing your own startup you have to focus on the work that they are giving you and learn the systems and operations that most of the tech people lack in